and she has performed on Showtime with Oprah. Mom, exciting, and my mom loves Oprah. Good times. And she just got back from entertaining our troops. Please give a warm welcome to Carol Montgomery, everyone. Listen, we're all about the same age, okay? I understand how you're feeling. It's, all, it's already past my bedtime. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I should be home right now drinking Metamucil and hoping I can take a shit tomorrow morning, you know? <laughs> so let's get through this so we can all go and take a dump. Are we good? Are we good? Do we have energy? Okay. Please don't die before I go off. Thank you, sir. I'm a little out of it. I um, do all this traveling. I just got back from Korea. I entertain the men and women of our U.S. military. And uh, thank you very much. That was my 11th tour with Armed Forces Entertainment. Been all over the world. Uh, the first tour I ever did was in Iraq during the war. We did a tour in Kosovo. I did a tour in El Salvador. And people were always like, why do you go to such dangerous places to perform, Carol? I'm like, I uh, live with my mother-in-law. I go to war zones to relax. <laughs> And I know, you're looking at me, I'm a middle-aged woman, what the hell am I living with my mother-in-law? Because I live here in New York City in a rent-controlled apartment, that's why. That's right. I live by Carnegie Hall, we have a two-bedroom apartment, I pay $1.75 a month, okay? And of course, we're all New Yorkers, so you know the law. If the person dies, you inherit the apartment, right? So my mother-in-law is 75, and she smokes like a chimney. So. Last week, she goes to the doctor. She comes back. She's smiling like a Cheshire cat. I said, what's going on? She goes, the doctor gave me a clean bill of health. Holy shit. <laughs> he says, I'm going to live a good long life. Oh, no. <laughs> Here's my prediction. About 25 years from now, there'll be a nuclear bomb here in New York City. The only thing left standing will be cockroaches, Twinkies, and my fucking mother-in-law. <laughs> and she'll be smoking. <sighs> You're still not getting the apartment, bitch. <laughs> So I'm a mom, I like talking about that. Do we have moms here tonight? Where are my moms? A couple of moms, yeah. I have a 23-year-old uh, son and his older brother, my husband. <laughs> it's not a joke. The kid is more mature than my husband is. It is true. No, we were watching a couple of weeks ago on TV, they were showing the Victoria's Secret TV show, you know, where they show all the new lingerie. So the three of us are sitting there watching it. First girl comes out, this hot, sexy outfit. My son doesn't say a word. My husband's reaction. <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> I married Peter Pan. <laughs> he doesn't even fly, he's a fucking ghetto Peter Pan, you know? <laughs> he is Peter Pan. I think a lot of guys are Peter Pan, but a lot, I, like some of the guys in here, are you adults? You think you should, are you an adult, sir? Yes, I think so, yes. What do you do before you go to bed? You read, probably watch television? What? You, play, you play video games like my fucking husband. I cannot believe it. <laughs> My husband plays video games on his Game Boy. Oh and not even like the cool game. You're thinking something macho like Call of Duty. No, Pokemon. <laughs> I could be standing there naked going, honey, you want a full run? I was like, hold on, I have to catch Pikachu. Hold on. <laughs> it's my life. And he's a musician. I married a musician, ladies. How great is that? Yeah. And my son's a musician, too. So you know what that means. I'll be working the rest of my fucking life. That's what that means. <laughs> now there's a mix here. I know there are some couples and I know there's some married, you know, and some single people. Where are the single girls? Can I, where are you? Can you just clap and raise your hand? Okay, I'm just gonna give you this advice. Three words. Listen to what I'm gonna say. Marry for money. Did you hear what I just told you? <laughs> the love can come third, fourth husband. Ask some of the wives in here. They know what I'm talking about. Because I didn't always look this way. I was a hottie in my 20s when I met my husband, the musician. I was like, oh my God, he's so cute. And he's funny. Oh, he doesn't have a job. Oh, that's okay. I love him. I'll work. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> I'm 56 now. I am tired, people. I don't want to work anymore. I'm actually thinking about becoming a hooker just so I can lie on my back for the rest of my life. Hey, that is a good job for an old woman, sir. You don't have to buy a lot of stuff, you buy some baby wipes. Next, come on, people, come on. Please don't die, because I touched my pussy, sir. Please don't die. Oh. 
comedian kills old man by touching herself. And I want to talk about my age because you know, we're all in show business and you're all told when you get, a woman especially is told, do not talk about your age. I'm talking about it. This is what 56 looks like right here. That's right. These are my real tits. This is my real face. I am wearing shapewear because I have a muffin top. I don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> And you know, I was watching the, you know, like all the award seasons and everything, and I was watching Madonna, and she pisses me off because she's had so much face work. Am I right? You know that, you know she's, right? Come on. I mean, Madonna is my age, and she's Italian. She should have a full fucking beard by now. <laughs> so pretty much everyone here, there's no, everyone's pretty much 40 and up. Is that pretty much the right, am I, am I, yeah? Is there anybody in their 20s? <laughs> Look at the two guys, please don't hurt me. I just say we kill them and drink their blood. What do you think, old people? What do you think? I hate aging. Aging sucks, especially as a woman. I mean, you know what I'm talking about, ladies. You get to a certain age, 50s, like this area, woo! Dry like the Sahara Desert people. Tumbleweeds go by my pussy, holy shit. It looks like a spaghetti western, it's bad. And that's not even the worst part. Here's the worst part of being an older woman. Ready? Every time I sneeze, I pee. Yeah. In fact, that's the only time I get wet is when I'm sneezing on myself. My husband wants to get me in the mood, he throws pepper in my face. And it's not just women that it sucks, like you, sir. Don't die. But your balls probably hang into your ankles now, all right? Come on. Thank you, thank you for showing me your balls. I feel very close. And he manscapes, who knew? All right. No, they fall twice at 13 and then again at 40. My husband walked out of the shower. He's like, honey, I'm picking up limp back there. What the fuck is that? And I'm jealous of young people because young people are lucky because they have stamina. So when you're having sex with somebody, not your hand, sir, calm down, okay. When you're having sex, right, young people look so good when they're having sex, you know why? Because they just, they look beautiful and they glisten, right? Not old people. Because old people fuck, get over it, the young people, all right? I know you're kinky, sir, you wear nipple clamps, don't lie to me, all right. But when old people have sex, you know, we sweat. It's ugly. There's noises coming out. You can't even use oils. You can slip off the bed, break a fucking hip. My poor husband, he has a hernia. He's pushing it in while he's sticking it in me. That's why there's no senior porn. It's fucking ugly. I'm gonna leave you with that. Thank you so much. You've been lovely. Good night.